guys, it's Jill. Um, so I got another elf order. <laughs> I know I said I only do one a year, but I saw they were having another sale, and some of the items I wanted that they were sold out of, they had again, and I thought maybe I'd get some stuff for you guys. So, um, essentially they had a sale where it was half off anything over three dollars, and since I pretty much only wanted studio line and mineral stuff, that was okay. And since next month is my blog's five year blog anniversary, I thought, why not have a contest? Why not do a giveaway? Why not give you guys some stuff? So I ordered some new stuff from Elf for me, and mainly my favorite for you guys to have a contest. I'm probably gonna break it up into a couple prize packs because I actually already bought stuff. So. I already have a lot of stuff. So this won't be up on the blog anytime soon for the giveaway part uh, because my blog blogversary isn't until mid-September, but I thought I'd do an unboxing. So I got a lot of stuff. Um, first up, I picked up a in the studio, the Portless Face Primer. I wanted this last time. They didn't have it. It sells for 8 bucks at Target, so to get it for $3 was a good deal. Um, as I showed in my empties video, this all fits into a little tiny 8 mil tube. So there's only 8 mils in this, but there's a lot of packaging. Um, sticking with that, I also picked up the SPF 20 primer. I don't know why they're both backwards in the boxes. I haven't opened this. Um, this is full spectrum SPM 20 from what I under understood, so I thought I'd pick that up. Since I love anything with high SPF. I picked up for myself this HD high lifting concealer. Um, I picked up the Fair last year when I did an order, and it was so dark, it suits my friend who is Lebanese. So, she's probably NC or NW35, I would say. Um, someone, and then if I were to pick out one of these that comes in Fair, Light, Medium, Dark, I would have picked her up. Medium, and it usually would have fit her, but Fair fit her, not Light, Fair. And it was too dark for me. But I did hear good things about this brightening one. Um, it is much lighter. It's just got a slight um, luminescency -ness to it. So I'm going to try that out. Um, I'm going to hold off on that for a second. I picked myself up the Contour Blush and Bronzer in Antigua. Um, I have it in the original, which is St. Lucia. And I really like it. Um, which I'll get to in a second. I thought I'd get this one. It is a much from what I saw on the site. Uh, more bright color. Now where's the... This is... <laughs> so this is the original, which is now called St. Lucia, and this is uh, Antigua. So the blush is much more brighter. Um, the bronzer is identical, I would say. Yeah, the bronzer is totally identical. Um, so I picked that up. Um, I picked up, because they were sold out last time, the um, blush palette in light. I got the dark last time um, just to get it because they were, I think, $8. So then they would be 4 um, Maybe they were 6 but I thought they were 8 They have this giant mirror. And then you get these colors. Um, only... This one is sparkly. The rest are beautiful, like, and then that one's a great bronzer. I'm not sure I'm blind, you guys, really. Um, that one's actually quite a neutral bronzer kind of color. It does not very orange or anything. Um, all the colors are really pretty. Um, they all pop out, too. Um, they pop out quite easily, so I can take the shimmer one, or if I like one from the dark, and swap that in. I'm going to be really excited about that. I read good things about it. And then the only other things I got myself was I got myself another one of the Exact Lash Mascara. I really love this. It is a great water tight line mascara. You get right at the root really easily. It's not good for coating all your lashes. But it's really good for getting at the root and your bottom lashes. And finally, this is the big reason I did the order is these mineral pearls are in. They're from the mineral line and these are um, in natural and in sun mount skin balancing and what these are come like this they come with a poof there's actually a nice poof 
And they come with pearls that are in a bag at the moment. And this one's bronze. It says natural, but it's essentially a bronzing one, I would say. I believe these were six, so they cost me three. And this is the skin balancing watch. And I'm really excited about those. Okay, and that's what I ordered myself. And this is what I ordered for the giveaway. I ordered the tone correcting powder. I'm not going to open these because, no, <laughs> I'm giving them away. So the tone correcting powder, I have one right here. Um, this is in neutral. No, this is in warm. This one's in cool. I personally liked the cool better than the warm. I finished off a cool one. This used to be the only one they made. And I have finished it off. I hit the pan. I used it all up. And then I ordered the warm and I don't like it nearly as much but it's still the same formulation so I just gotta use it up. I don't know why I don't like it. I think it's because it's not the same bright colors in the pan. Um, it was a very fine feel to it. it. It's just a fantastic setting powder. I really like it. Um, when I use a few other ones I'm going to try to use that up. So I got you guys one of those. Um, and I actually really like the compacts, the like NARS S compacts. They're quite heavy duty with a nice big mirror. I picked up this matte lip color for you guys, and this is in uh, Tea Rose, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, I'm totally not going to be able to grab you one to show. Um, oh, I did. I grabbed Tea Rose. So this is the one I have. They twist up. They're really pretty, and they have a little sharpener on the other end, which also tells you the color just by looking at it. So they're really great. I really like that. I think that's a color. Like, they're all pretty good for most people. Picked up a loop exfoliator. I pick one of these up every year when I do my thing. Um, if you're familiar, um, I'm just seeing. I should have grabbed everything up beforehand. Um, the Body Shop, I think, used to make a product like it. It is a little balm. It scuffs and moisturizes your lips. It is great all year round. Um, I picked up the eyelash primer and liner sealer. Now, mine is really old. I probably should pick myself up one. But essentially one side looks like a little lipstick con or concealer. And then the other side is a clear liquid liner. And this is supposed to turn any eyeshadow into a liner, and it does a pretty good job of it. Um, don't think it's anything to write home about. This, on the other hand, is a really great eye primer if you're a fan of something like Painterly. I personally like it better at Painterly, and I keep on joking that when I do use up my Painterly, I'm going by Mac, I'm going to just push that into it. But the reality is, I'm probably going back to Mac it. <laughs> um, okay, so I got that ash and ash. Um, I got you guys an exact lash, which I just explained, because I really, really love it. This is the one product I haven't really tried or have not ordered for myself. I got the 3-in-1 mascara. It kind of has a brush head, it looks like, that is similar to the Their Real mascara. So I don't know what that one's like. I just thought I'd grab that. Okay. I'm just trying to keep everything. Oh, I did order... I ordered two of the primer and sealers. I guess I did order myself one. Um, okay, next up is the bronzer that I just talked about in the bronzing blush duo in Antigua, and then the cream version of that. I mean, sorry, St. Lucia, and the cream version of that. And I just showed you that the one, but uh, here's the cream one as well which, sorry, it has a little plastic thing, you can see that they're essentially the exact same. So I really like using the cream products and then layering the dry product over it for a long-lasting look. They are a really nice compacts, as I've said. Um, they're really nice. I really like them together. I think they'll look good on a lot of people. Um, next up, I got the Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. This is a tube-style primer. I don't currently have one of it. I'm just going to pop it out to show. Um, I like it. It is better than the $1 version. The mineral one is slightly better. So I got that one. Um, it is also, I like it to the same degree I like Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Which I like more than I like Urban Decay. So I should say something. I picked up the Mineral Eye Brightener. This is a little powder that you put under your eyes to set your makeup. Um, 
I really, really, really like it. I've started using it last six months and I've used up a whole one, so I've really been liking that. I picked up a one of the mineral pearls, and this is I got the one in the balancing, so it's the one with the multicolors. And then the final item, which I have also not tried yet, uh, but I heard good things about it, is this 96 color eyeshadow palette. Now I'm not trying to blind you with my lights. I'm just trying to balance it out. So there's a bunch of colors, but I heard really good things about that. So I'm excited for all that stuff. Um yeah, it's all very exciting. And I do have some other items that I'm planning on adding, like the Stila uh, Garden Palette and um, this uh, Body Shop Hemp Foot Protector. Um, to be honest with you guys, I'm allergic to hemp, but I got this, so I gotta give that away. But I do um, currently have the... Um, let's see if I can pull it out. How am I doing? It's right here. The Stila Palette, so I'll just show that to you. It's a beautiful palette. It helps with a liner. So I'll probably be giving that one away too because I bought an extra one for that reason earlier in the year. Okay, so that's my second elf haul for the summer. Uh, I will not be doing another one. Um, but I'm super excited to try all these new stuffs out. I'll be excited for giving you guys some goodies next month. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you want any reviews on any of these products. Thanks.